As the story goes, 14-year-old Norm Nelson prepared for his racing career by borrowing his sister's 1934 Chevrolet and racing it on the back streets of Racine. There used to be some local tracks in Racine. There was one at Horlick Field and there was one in Franksville where you could actually go race. That's where he got his start and it just progressed from there. A couple of years later, he competed for the first time in a race near Pleasant Prairie. In our family, uh, racing was number one. My mom was number two, and those kids were number three. And I don't think there's a one of us that would complain about that. Those beginnings in southeastern Wisconsin led to Nelson becoming one of the most successful auto racers in the country. Something he had a strong desire to do and just made it happen regardless of what obstacles stood in the way. A winner of 35 races over a 30-year career that started in the 1950s. After a stint in the Army, Nelson successfully raced midget cars and later late model stock cars. He competed in the United States Auto Club, winning the season championships in 1960, 1965, and 1966 as a driver. He also won five owner's championships. Nelson also competed in five NASCAR events, finishing with three top tens and one victory. My dad was very good about taking care of his equipment and the cars, and he wanted everybody involved to do the same. His cars started in 13 NASCAR races and finished in the top 10 nine times. Norm enjoyed much success as an owner. He was elected to the USAC Hall of Fame in Indianapolis and the Wisconsin Short Track Hall of Fame in Hartford. Born and raised in Racine, he was nicknamed the Great Dane because of his six foot four inch frame. Another Wisconsin legend, Alan Kowicki, said this of Nelson. Norm wasn't as much of a charger like A.J. Foyt and Parnelli Jones, but he was always there at the end of the race. He was a good, smooth driver and very intelligent. He didn't necessarily feel he had to be in first place for the whole race. Hopefully he was in first at the end, but it was also important for him to save his cars and not just beat the heck out of them. At the time of his retirement in 1976, Nelson's 35 USAC wins tied him with A.J. Foyt for second on the all-time list. Foyt, who was also a driver for Nelson's team. During the off-seasons, he owned and operated a snowmobile sales and repair shop in the town of Husher. Of his 35 USAC wins, 11 came at the Milwaukee Mile. Nelson's success at the Milwaukee Mile made him a local hero and was frequently asked to speak at many youth functions. <laughs>